Now I know you want more videos, but I'm only one person, you know? First and foremost, if you are new here, uh, how about hitting that subscribe button? If you like what I'm doing here, hit that thumbs up. Share this video with everybody you know. We're almost at 8,000 subscribers, and I appreciate all the support. Uh, Christmas time's uh, uh, coming, and that would be a really good Christmas present for me. First and foremost, uh, all my Patreons from the past few months, not just the last month, but, but from the past few months, I listed their name in the beginning of the video because I appreciate their support, even if I know how hard times are, and just the fact you took time, I appreciate it, and that's why I put your name there anyways. Even if you couldn't, I understand, it's hard on everybody, thank you for your support. Uh, also, if, just getting it out there, if you can't support my videos monthly, I mean, there's always PayPal. It's linked in, uh, it's linked in my community on my YouTube page. Uh, if you ever want to donate there, it's much appreciated. And plus, I'll shout you out in the video from now on, too, just like I did the ones in the beginning of this video. Ugh, I hate promoting that stuff. It makes me feel like a bum or something. I, I don't know. I feel icky. And if you notice, I don't promote very often. Uh, but anyway, that being said, let's get into the video. Now, up to the batter's box is our good old buddy, uh, Paranormal Falls. Uh, now keep in mind, this ain't no hate video. This ain't me, uh, proclaiming that it's 100% fake. This is me, uh, pointing out a few things that really don't make no sense. And once y'all see it, you could call it, I don't know, a continuity error. But there's just too many things in this particular video that just don't add up to me. I mean, what do you want me to say? Oh, by the way, that's right. There's two of me now, as you saw in the beginning of the video. Hey, Rick DeBunks, or uh, World of Mr. Gray, either one. How'd I do that? Huh? Yeah, I'm a paranormal investigator. I founded the International Paranormal Society and I've investigated ghosts, hauntings, the mysterious and the bizarre all over the world for the last... Minnesota. And in this jail cell behind me, there was a prisoner that was held here in the 1890s. His name was William Rose and he was hanged for a crime we believe he didn't commit. So let's follow me inside. This jail cell was built in the 1860s and this jailer's section was added in 1881. As you can see, it's a wooden construction. It wouldn't have had windows back in the day, a little bit like a cooler. If we go through here, you see the iron door to stop the prisoners escaping. There's definitely a real energy in here. It's very cold, feels very heavy with paranormal energy. And just imagine sitting, writing your final letter to your family, knowing that in a few hours' time, you're going to be executed and hanged by the neck until dead. We have oh, right here is the beginning of Paranormal Falls video. They, uh, I want you to focus on this candle that's in the room. Keep in mind, this is the beginning of their video. Take a look. We have a bed. We have some very basic furniture. None of this. I zoomed in on the candle for you guys. To the original jail cell, of course, but just imagine like a sponge. All that energy soaking into the walls of this jail cell. And if As I'm looking at that candle, I don't know, just the fact it's in that room, and it's pretty much the only object in that room, I'm, I'm thinking, I bet something happens to said candle. And wouldn't you know it, Keep in mind that the candle is still there for you. If you imagine William Rose sitting at that table, writing his letters in his final hours. If we uh, can get any knocking responses or any physical activity before we move on to using devices. But I'll let you sit down. And I'm actually going to let you start this off because he's been here multiple times and interacted with the spirits. Or Spirit. So... I'll let you kind of introduce us and then get this going. Sure. We're here today to talk to you. We're here to... Oh, the reason I brought up B-roll is because look how real it looks. Don't that ever make you think? We're just going to start out. <laughs> 
Thank you, by the way. I've been very kind of you. <laughs> Hi, it is dark in here. I've been, been, really been, been dissing them all night. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're going to start out just by asking the spirit to make some banging noises. We're surrounded in a wooden box. So we're just going to quieten down. We're just going to see initially if there's any spirit activity if we ask for some poltergeist activity. Too, that we just put in. Okay, this is fully charged. And of course, in the next, uh, this is about a third of the way through the video, the candle is gone. It's not on that table anymore, and I'm going to show you the clip of that. And you'll not see that candle pop up until later on in the video, so let's check that out. And the candle's not there now. If you take a look on the table right beside our, our friend here. Hmm, very, very interesting. Or Billy? If you're here, can you, uh, do something for us? Like, maybe, once again, knock, like you may have before, or even open the... Yeah, there was yeah. definitely a noise coming from back here. But, uh, at the beginning of that, psychically, and that's the first message I've really got psychically, he, he asked me for a candle of all things. Asked me for a candle of all things. A candle, huh? I mean, I thought there was one. I mean, I thought there were one on that table. I, you know, I, I but you know, I, I'll still give this failure the benefit of the doubt. And, you know, let, let's see what happens. Do you have a candle? I, 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 as strange as it may be, I don't have a candle on me today. We could bring one back tomorrow. Yeah. Yes, let's make sure we elaborate on that candle. <laughs> in fact, why don't everybody in the room talk about a candle that has no particular reason to be in this investigation all of a sudden. But hey, let's check it out. I think he likes that idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, I'm only going to tell you the stuff he's giving me. I, I wonder if we set a candle up and lit it, you'd see the flame going backwards. Could you keep doing what you're doing if you want us to bring a candle in? Can I just say as well, I'm now getting cigarette smoke. It's a lot of uh, pipe smoke. Uh, you can taste it in your mouth. If people smoked in there for years, pipe tobacco and stuff, it gets into the wood grain. The smell will stay there forever. That's nothing paranormal, just There's like perfume. Yeah. Did you uh, do that, though? Yeah, and I was kind of wondering, are, is there a time when we want to try to go out there a little bit? Yeah, the front door literally just takes away the camera and we cut. And the front door, I think, just, it was like, what was it? This it's a, it's a, it was just a creak. It was like this. It was like... Is that a spirit box that you were going to use? Sure. Do you want to... Try it. Yeah. I've got an urge to stick my hand down that hole. <laughs> Yikes. Do you think there's anything under there? Uh, well, the odds are there's nothing under there, but a little bit of dirt, soil, some dust, maybe a couple of, like, rocks or something like that, but I, I'm pretty sure there's nothing else in the, under that crack, you know. Speculate all you want, though. Unless you check it out for yourself, you just never know. Do you want to... I've never done this before. Yeah. And if anything suddenly grabs hold of my hand. Yeah. I think I'm gonna need some help. <laughs> and this spider's another yeah. nice spiders. There is stuff down here. Really? Uh. What? It's a candle! No! No! no. Say what? No. Are you kidding? Part of a book. What? I don't want to go too far because it is nasty under here. I mean, you're a young lad. You can roll yeah. your sleeves. I'm oh not. Oh my god! Jesus. Does anybody? Do we have a lighter? Oh my god! We need a lighter now. By the way. Yes. What are the chances? I know, right? What are the chances? You had better odds of hitting the jackpot on the lottery multiple times. That's a horrible idea. Jesus. What in the? It's this. Ah. Oh, oh. Look at this. Ah. Oh. There's paper on it, though. You know what? I just don't want to dig in here. I mean, oh, what is that, though? Oh. 
Okay. Should we just let's leave keep this? Keep people. Keep it out. Yeah. Let's look at it. Just look at it. Here's more of the paper. And nails. Look at There's multiple nails under here. What is this hole? I wonder. It's like a countertop. Well, it's some kind of material. Here's what we found under there, I guess. There's some wallpaper, it looks like. A candle, which is unbelievably bizarre. And two nails. I can, I can light the oh, candles. Do you want yep, to? Yes. Is that the place we want to set it up? Or do we want it over here? Where would you prefer? Over there, I guess. Next to the door. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, actually just going to set all these devices yeah. up over yeah, here. Yeah, right. two up there as well. At the beginning of the investigation, Adrian felt like got the word candle. This was like an hour ago. Mm -hmm. And randomly decided to look in this... I don't know if you can see this. It's a hole. It kind of looks like wood. Let me get a closer shot to show you guys. It's a creepy little hole. It looks almost like storage. And the man reached down in like a crazy lunatic. Well, that's a British how very extravagant. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he literally found some wallpaper and a candle. I'm gonna have. Keep in mind, I have nothing against paranormal files. Uh, I admire the videos that he makes. I think he works really hard. However. There's no way in hell that I would trust that other dude. Just saying. I don't know him personally, but not that. That's staged is what that is. He could say he's psychic or whatever. Now, you seen it at the beginning of the video, a candle right there. Midway through the video, the candle, well, about a third of the way, the candle's still there. The candle disappears. Then they find said candle in a place that he felt the urge to look at. But anyway, breathe, shape, breathe. I found another debunker on YouTube. <sighs> so I love just to be able to change the... But anyway, uh, I was, uh, Rick Debunks actually turned me on to this YouTuber. He's a small YouTuber. He's got a few videos out now. They're short videos, like five minutes long. And we're going to take a look at a debunk that he got that I thought was pretty incredible. I'm going to play his video in its entirety. So, you know... I'm not cutting it. It's not edited. He gave me permission. Check this out. It's pretty incredible. The same one that was there. Because when I backed up, I heard that loud crunch. So I thought I ran over that one because that one was like right here. Literally like right there. Or how about that? How about that? Oh my god! Do you see that? Do you, you see hear? that? Oh my god. <laughs> Why every place? Did you just find that? My backpack was on top of that thing, dude. Dude, it just said observe. Okay, I'm gonna move this way. I need you to hold this. Actually, do you have that other flashlight? Yeah. I'm gonna put the other flashlight in my backpack. Are you gonna get out of here? As of right now, we only need these two lights, do we? Or do we need another one? Well, no, we we're have, good. We have this one. I was sure, I'll keep one of the lights. Yeah, keep it. But I'll put one in the... Yeah, yeah. put it just using my backpack. Picture. Picture. Do you think they noticed the camera? I mean, not sure. I mean, there used to be a picture on that wall. Oh, it totally looks like it. Either that or that was like where the chalkboard was. Right? I'm gonna put my... Observe. Observe. There's like writing on the ground. Do you see that? Do you, you see that? Oh my god. I'm gonna move this way. I need. Did you just find that? My backpack was on top of that thing, dude. Observe. Observe. Okay, I'm gonna move this way. I need... Actually, do you have that other flashlight? 
flashlight? Yeah. I'm gonna put the other flashlight in my backpack. Are you gonna get out of here? As of right now, we only need these two lights, do we? Or do we need another light? Well, no, we we're have, good. We have this one. I was sure, just... I'll keep one of the lights. Yeah, keep it. But I'll put one in the... Yeah. yeah. Put it... In a couple of seconds, you're about to see our first time catching an actual ghost anomaly, not noticing it right in front of our faces. Could this be the 10-year-old Shane Davis? So guys, if you like debunking, make sure you check in the link. The channel is called Get Wrecked. I respect all opinions, and I know some people are going to say it's debatable, which it is debatable. You could debate that either YouTuber that's ever been in any one of my videos never faked anything. Or you can look at it for what it is. That was staged, or it looked like it was staged to me. He pointed out really good really good evidence in my opinion but a lot of times when it comes to debunking it's your word against theirs no matter how good you prove it. if i show you a fishing line sometimes i have to i still have to like explain everything but anyway uh y'all ask what i watched on youtube and i'm going to list some channels that i really want you guys to check out uh we got a channel called the nothing network and you gotta watch this channel it's a small exploration channel they don't claim to be paranormal investigators and i think they do it high you know so i mean how can you go wrong there you know what i mean and there's a small channel called urban ghost hunters uh, urban ghost hunter not urban ghost urban exploration but urban ghost hunter and uh he just He's very down to earth, mellow, and it's a really good channel to watch as well. And also, check, I'm just going to put pictures of them all over this thing. And y'all just look at each one, and I'm going to link them all. But it's going to take some time, because there's a lot of them. But these channels are worth checking out. All of them. There's this new Australian channel. Uh, I probably don't put a picture up. Anyway, thank you guys. I appreciate all you do. Uh, you know, on Christmas will be two years that I've been doing debunking videos. Two years. My first debunking video was uploaded uh, oh, December 25th, 2018. Three years. Two, three. Anyway, it don't, it don't matter. Uh, I love you guys and thank you and be sure to hit that like button share this video with everybody you know and also only if you want to you can check my paypal out just saying just saying don't shoot me <laughs>